I've got a bunch of ceiling fans I got here and that whole container full. And that's everything I got to get spring clean up. Because I stripped everything before spring clean up. So all this stuff is stuff that's gotta be stripped. And so this stuff should be brass. We'll put a magnet on it just to be safe, but usually it would be brass. I just kind of want to get the mortar off. I'm stripping the not not stripping the mortar, but I'm taking it down to the mortar. Probably sell the mortar as is. stiff this kind of stuff I mean there's dirty aluminum stuff but gosh it will be aluminum cast different things in here pin here It's a little bit better wire, I think. That one's okay. That's cast aluminum. Lots of screws. Everywhere you look is a screw. around but scrap it But I have to strip it down uh, so that I can sell it. If I keep it whole, I can't sell it as a mortar. Let's see where I can 
comes off here. socket out. Look at this one. Cast here. See if I can screw it. There's cast right there. Sometimes it's steel, but a lot of times it's aluminum. And this one is aluminum here. So that's sellable the way it is. I think it's around 45 cents right now a pound. It used to be 50, but prices are fluctuating. Copper is dropping and stuff. I think it's stabilized a bit now, but it was dropping before. cast but it might end up being pot metal I so started taking a pile apart and think, wow, it's a lot of uh, material there. It's not coming out. This rubber. You have to even unthread them more. Cast pop it, I don't know. Don't. 
The white ones, some of the other ones that are real shiny look like more pop metal than anything, so we'll see. This one looks like a steel one. Hmm. Hard to say. I don't think so, but... Oh, it's a different size or what? One bigger maybe? One bigger. It's weird, it's awfully tight. Hmm. Wants to stay on there. It's okay with me. Hmm. It's weird. Maybe it's a steel one or something. This aluminum here, bracket, cast,
You got a rhythm, you just keep going, right? Just keep moving back and forth and get it done. I like doing these in like in bunches. Then you have the right tools always set up. Otherwise, if you go go loosely, you know, you have finding tools and sockets and okay, everything's right in right in there. Put in a low grade, leave the switch on there. I'll take the switch off, but I'll leave the rest. Steel, I think. No, it's cast spoken. This will produce a half a pound of copper, these ones on average, sometimes a little more, up to three quarters of pounds if they're really big. Pay it, well, it should be, I think, 45 cents. It used to be 50 cents, but 45 they'll probably pay. Even though copper dropped, but it's paying better prices still for the contaminated stuff. Dirty copper stuff. This one's a little different here.
Click the pen. A little bit of cast here. Hmm. Not clean too good. How this one goes on. taped on or something, that's why I just can't find screws. So well, they, they strip okay, I guess. Not too bad. Last one here. Oh, quite steel. No.
test all those after. Better cut her. Okay. Keep stripping more. Did about uh, well so far we're at about maybe twelve already. Twelve totally stripped. I put this stuff in a cast, but I'll put this stuff in the uh, pot metal. This type of stuff. This one just can't tell. It's paint like that, so just leave it like that. Down to the last five. Weird how it's dropped around there. One full garbage can already. The material from this. Steel, tin, a little bit of steel, not a lot, but got a couple pieces of steel out of here. The shaft is pretty thick. A little bit of wire right here too, it's not too bad. Found a couple in the yard from before. One was all burnt. Stripped already.
This one's like a bit of an old one, I think. Hard to see. <coughs> Made some gold or something. Probably something there. This screw here. There it is. This one here. Just. Pretty heavy steel. Weird stuff wrapped around here. And then from here. Good value here, all this extra here. Extra metal. Not sure about the plate here. Maybe I'll take this off here, I guess. I have lots of screws. Cast also. Done a cast. Good value in that one. So I thought it was kind of like an old school one.
wasn't a mess of anything here. Okay, move on. Got some more control sensor here. Take those part off to the circuit board. Nice. I'm gonna wait on this cylinder. Couple pounds probably. 1.8. Not too bad.
Okay, so like that. A little bit different this one. Some are stainless, some are brass, so it's a kind of a mix-up.
I don't know why some don't want to come off. What's going on here? Very tight. Actually, uh, this was kind of Allen keys. Let's leave it on. A couple more. These ones are about uh, two fifty. Pretty expensive. These ones. Bulbs going, all oh, special bulbs. Huh, never seen those kind of bulbs. This type of like that. Something new. Excuse me. That's a big piece of cast. Hmm. We pop metal, I think. This is pop metal.
that screw here. Okay, going down. The third time I clean the table off, it's all lots of screws. Hundreds of screws. Maybe a thousand screws even home. A lot of screws.
Yeah, pretty good weight. Not too bad. Couple pounds. Well, oh, 2.2 .2 pounds. Not bad. Buck 50. For sure. I almost get away with it. Don't you mess with this. Okay, let's see what we can do. With heavy metal here. We kind of like to see what we got for weight here. I would say the brass ones that look brass are brass, and the other ones are probably stainless. I think these are, I think some will be stainless. Brass there. Slight magnetic, magnetic slightly stainless. Lots of material stripped.
was clean. Oh, we're going to figure this out here. Six. So at least 100 pounds, about 102 pounds maybe. Not bad. Okay. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like. As always, have a great day. Thanks for watching.